Family collectibles. Ooh, that's not empty. Oh. <laughs> Watch the expression on my face just change as soon as that guy came around a corner into our storage unit. Time for the grand finale of this 5i15 $290 storage unit. We are pretty much all the way to the back wall. We're gonna go in there and see what's hidden in the very back. Let's do it. Let's get into the first tote, the blue top. It says Xmas something. That is a lie. Do you, does this look like Xmas to you? Do you have Christmas eggs? I don't think so. I think they're called Easter eggs. Now, I'm completely untrustworthy with this unit owner. Let's put this one right here, start building our table. Oh, let's go into here. Hey, there's Dexter. Dexter. Look at that. That's literally like him. Look at those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that, we have Dexter. Look in here, open up, tote, ugh, okay. This looks like more Christmas decor, things like that. Don't need to look at that. This one, same thing. Just set it over here. Uh, is that a Care Bear? A Care Bear. A Care Bear, cheerleader bear, and a gift. You want it? It's for yes. Christmas, all right, you get, the... ooh, you get a necklace, actually. Ooh. And a little egg. It's actually ceramic. Is this a necklace? It is a little necklace. Bracelet. Check that, or bracelet, yeah. It's got a little heart on it. That's pretty cool. See, I have thoughtful over my gift. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else in here? Remotes. I see AV cables, which makes me think it's game system, but I don't see any. Maybe we'll find it very soon. Let's get these back so I don't accidentally knock them over. This one, more Easter decor. I think we're gonna be ready for every holiday ever. But we're probably just gonna put this stuff out of the yard sale so everybody else can be ready for every holiday ever because we don't really decorate for holidays. We go out and do stuff for Christmas, as you guys know, but that's about it. This is two candle melter or wax melters, They're not candle melters. They make the room smell good. I'm trying to see what's in this little pocket here. What is that? Is that tanning stuff? Yeah. Boring. I don't want to see people tanning lotion. Set this one down. Set the Easter stuff down. This guy here. Do I really need to open it? I think it's just a big tote of wrapping paper, some Christmas bags, and that looks like a Santa hat. Yeah, that's a Santa hat. So this one's all Christmas too. Again, yard sale galore here. Let's go into the gray tote here and see what's in there. A giant Frosty. That is a really tall Frosty. He's actually more giant than I thought he was. You're gonna sit over my shoulder for a second there, buddy. This guy, guys, again, more Christmas decor. Christmas decor. Is this normal to have this much holiday decorations? I feel like it's not. What's in here? Have you seen my parents? Yeah, but they have like all Halloween for the most and part. And Christmas. Not like this. <laughs> Man, I've been unboxing Christmas stuff for a long time now. I mean, it's cool. Cause like I said, we only paid 290 and we found like probably at least a thousand things that will sell for a dollar each. So that's cool. Not even including the big ticket items we found and whatever big ticket items are hiding in the back. I like what I see here. You see that? Family collectibles. What's this first? This feels very good. Is this a bowling ball? Ugh. Yes, we got a bowling ball. I'm just gonna drop it. Let me see your toe. No. Why? Your toes. All right, ready? <sighs> Ooh, what if I would have missed? That would have been bad. I don't know where to put that. Would have been all you. Yeah, would have. I would have felt bad for you, but. All right, let's see what's in here. The family collectibles. It looks like Chris. No, maybe not. I want to know what's in this white box, though. What's that? Is that the blanket? Another piece of a blue blanket? Man, they told us, if you didn't see the last video, the previous owner said there was a blue blanket in this unit that belonged to her like great, great grandmother, something they wanted back. And that's like the fifth or sixth one we found now. We've been leaving them all behind because blue blanket just wasn't descriptive enough. So these look like a lot of uh, 45 records. That, ooh, this year. Ooh, that's not empty. What do you think it is? Come on, what's your guess? Oh, <laughs> jewelry? Okay, Ugh. what the heck is that? Is that ash? I am pretty sure that's somebody's ashes, isn't it? I have no idea. Uh, it's like a, just a box that says nothing on it with a tube of black and white uh, powder. I don't know what else to think. So just in case it is, I'm gonna leave it behind. Then we, let's see, more Christmas stuff, uh, little baby stuff. What's down here? I see a lot of pictures again that they'll get back. There's another tote inside the tote, but it looks like it's a tote of papers, unfortunately. 
yeah it's all like the kid stuff they probably did in school so again this stuff we're definitely gonna leave behind and other than that i'm not seeing many collectibles unless it's just personal i'm amazed you know what i found the football that we threw to another dimension last video it came back finally to our realm so you know what i'm glad that's there i'm gonna pull down this gray tote so i can stack and then we'll get to that bottom tote eventually but i want to use it as a table right now for this stuff this one says Bo and Lisa BR. Bedroom, bathroom. There's so many things. That's clothes. Is that Giants? No, that's NASCAR. Little NASCAR shirt. Is it all clothes in here? Let's flip through a little bit. Definitely not. What else would be under there besides more Christmas decor, of course? Uh, stockings. Is this a candle? No, I don't know what that is. But more Christmas, more Christmas. What's this guy? Frosty. Some snowmen right there. I'll wrap them back up and put them down here. Let's scoot this stuff over here. Anything different on this side besides clothes and Christmas? Not that I see a bunch of yard sale galore stuff here. We're basically gonna have a whole yard sale off this one unit just about. Hey, want a big giant plushy snowman? Sure. What about two big giant plushy snowmen? Sure. I don't want them, you guys go over here. Bad snowman. And it fell, <laughs> kicked them in a snowball. All right, let's get this box right here and see what's in this one. I see styro, or not styrofoam, we're wrapping. Ooh, are those what I think they are? Oh, it's a clock. It's still cool. Check that out. That's huge. It opens. You think it just opens to the actual clock face? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That looks really nice, though. Does it have any price tag or model number or anything? Not that I see, but I find these a lot and they're kind of valuable, but usually they're busted up, they're missing pieces. This is like one of the most nice total pieces that we found. It looks like there might be two of them in here. Let's see what this one is. Oh, <laughs> that's what I thought was in there. Let's bring this to this token Move, right Frosty. here. Get out of here, Frosty. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, that's a school ring right here. Let's see if this is gold. Come on, white gold, white gold, white gold. 12K, bang, right there. That's probably, I don't know how much. I'm not that good yet, <laughs> but it's definitely gold. What about this one? That's 925, sterling silver. What's in here? Oh my goodness, look at all this. Let's check in this thing right here. It was 14 karat gold earrings, but they're not in there. They might be somewhere else. Actually, hold listen. I think it's under it. Uh, oh. Why do they- That's a tooth, by the way. That's another tooth. I found so many teeth in this unit. Why? All right, let's just keep going. So we have some pearl necklaces, a little bag here, nothing in it, pearls. All right, let's start opening the drawer. Should I stand it back up, I guess? Yeah. All right, let's open this one first. There's stuff in there, but it can't come out all the way for some reason. Can you see in there? Oh, there it goes. Ooh, a rifle shell too. Oh, look at that ring. Look at that big boy right here. Whoa, that's a school. Oh my God, please be gold. This is gold, this is be 100. Shine me the lights. It's engraved with the name, but I don't see a carrot engraving. So this one might not be real. If it's not real, we'll make sure they get it back. But if they're real gold, sorry. Let's see what this is. This could definitely be gold. There's a lot of jewelry in here that could potentially be gold. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, again, a bunch more pins, all kinds of stuff. Definitely nice. Let's go to this last, ooh, this one's big. Move this out the way. Ooh, what's in this one? There's a receipt. Let's see what the receipt's for. I love seeing receipts with jewelry because you get an idea of what they paid for once upon a time. Uh, $115 from 1996. Wow, that's old. A gold, it says 14K gold tree ring. What's a gold tree ring? And this one is a hundred, another one. There's two receipts for the same thing, I think, a gold tree ring. Let's see if there's a ring in here that looks like there's a tree on it. The country buffet. I don't see a ring that looks like it has a tree on it anywhere, but we'll definitely be on the lookout for it. That right there is at least a couple hundred bucks, I think, in jewelry. Guys, leave us a thumbs up for the jewelry box, please. Cause I feel like there's gotta be another one back here somewhere. And subscribe if you're new, cause we're forever buying units. We bought five this week alone. Ugh, so you have a lot of stuff coming up. Let's see, Kermit, do his voice. You do his voice. Kermit the Frog, I can't do it, you do it. <laughs> I can't do it. You're fired. <laughs> this is the cat my mom used to have in the back of her. 
car. Sorry. My toe. <laughs> that baby dolls. Uh, this looks like all baby personal stuff. So I think this thing should, I guess, be left behind. What do you think? I think so. Yeah, I think it should leave it behind. Cause look at this. This is like from the actual baby shower and everything. This is probably all stuff remembering that day. So definitely something we'll leave behind. Hey, you want to take a break? Let me know. Take a, oh, now I get why this landed here. You know why? Because it's, it's the Buffalo Bills. And in there, you know, what goes in there? This. I know, it's, I'm thinking of another word, four letters. Shh, is how it starts. Uh, yeah. I don't want to know what's in that pot. What if it falls and breaks? Go ahead. Go what? Lift it. No, you lift it. I ain't touching it. I'm not sure messing with nothing that. in it. Okay, then open it if you're pretty sure there's nothing in it. <laughs> Ew. I'm seeing if there was anything interesting. Bro, it, interesting. What? They could have just stored <laughs> something in it. I think I see a box, a jewelry box. Yeah, room. Oh yeah, I see quite a few. Let's see what's in the heart one first. Uh, these little key things in a rosary. Not exactly what I was thinking, but that. What about this? Alexa's angels? Uh, nothing, or is it underneath? Open, no, you can't get under it. All right, no, there's, you gotta be able to get under it. <laughs> no, there it goes. There's nothing in there. Looked like it might have been. What about this one? Uh, anything in there? Is that another tooth? It's all teeth. What the heck? Why do they have like three, four, five different people's teeth? It's kind of weird. Okay, let's see. Pictures right there. Yeah, all pictures. What's in this box? Uh, pictures. Not sure what that is. More pictures. Just tons of pictures. Again, we'll leave it behind. The managers are gonna be mad at us, but they need to get the personal stuff back, so oh well. Uh, lots of cards. What's this? Oh, I thought this was a bag, it's just a beanie thing. Guitar pick, lots more pictures, and hordes more pictures. I think that's all that's in there. Yeah, it's literally pictures all the way down. So I got this towed out of the middle. I can't quite read what it says. It says Michael's KD. Our kid, okay, Michael's kid. And it's a wedding dress. <laughs> what? You can't trust any of the labels in here. That's literally the entire thing. What does a wedding dress go for? Are they expensive, I wonder? I mean, certain ones. Yeah, I guess it could be expensive, but realistically, I might, what do you say? Sell it or leave it? I don't, know. I don't even know where to sell it, honestly. All right, we'll make sure they get it back. I'm just gonna put it there so they can get it back. I wanna get this, cause I wanna see what's in the journey box right here. Let's see what's in this thing. No idea what that says. Is that Jorgen? Oh no, it's just this color. I had this. There's a Blue's Clues cup. Blue's bowl. Clues bowl, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> uh, graduation hat, baby book. Is this all, my goodness. I don't think I've ever bought a storage unit with so much personal stuff in, like pictures and things. But yeah, this hole all the way underneath of it too. It's literally pictures all the way down. So once again, we're gonna leave it behind. This is another journey box. And last time the journeys box had oh, a lot of cool stuff in it. So let's see if we can get lucky with journeys twice. Oh, it's heavy, whatever it is. Let's the tape open. Let's see what we got. A jar full of cookie cutters. Okay. There's salt and pepper. I'm guessing. This looks like a kitchen set here. There's a rolling pin. There's a top to that jar. Sugar or you know, something like that. Flour. Yeah, there's the other one. And there's a toaster. A lean mean toasting machine. A lean mean toasting machine. All kitchen stuff, but all great yard sale items. Go to the box window top. Oh, that's heavy. You can see what's in here all the way down at least. Isn't that a beanie baby? Yeah, didn't we find one very similar that was in a case? Yeah. It looked like the same colors. What about the white box? Let's see. Nothing? Oh, no. It's a, like a brass Open it. Christmas ornament. What the heck is that in there? Yeah, it's like that smelling stuff. Mmm, it doesn't smell good. It smells nasty. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's true. All right, let's see. This giant jar, that's Sully. Sully. Sully! We have a big old Sully from Monsters, Inc. 
They like they like Sully, and they must not like Mike. I like them. Boo! Boo. <laughs> Speaking of monsters, it, it talks still. <laughs> All right, there's gotta be. Is that? <gasps> Whoa! Yes. You know, we found the other one. In this, I looked it up on eBay. A pair, the pair together sold for $160. So now we have both of them. It's literally from the comfy couch, by the way. The other one was Molly, right? That is, that's Molly too? I think, what's the doll's name? Do the, you find the out? The doll's Molly. Molly. I think that's Molly. Okay, but didn't it look different than that? I think it was smaller. Okay, I don't know. So we'll what are you find talking out. about? The actual girl? Yeah, that's what it was. It, with the doll sold together as a pair for like 160 bucks. Okay. Is that another one? Uh, uh, yep. Another comfy couch doll. So we have a large, a medium, and a small. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> There's a baby book. Is there anything in there? Oh uh, yeah, we'll leave this behind. Let's see, what is this? Just a birdhouse. And then, anything else down there interesting? Ooh yeah, what's that? This right here. It's one of those picture things. It's cats. Look. Mm -hmm. There's cats in there. That's pretty cool. Other than that, I think the rest of it is nothing. Let's go into the light blue tote or tote top here. Let's see what's in that one. It is. Well, I guess party decor stuff. We got flowers. We got cups. We got plates. Fancy. What's that bird called? A flamingo. Fancy flamingo napkins. And then another bowl with seashells on it. This one looks like, what would you call this decor? Summertime decor? Ocean, they have, summertime. Yeah, they have literally decor for every holiday and every season. Like their house is just nonstop. Like every week they're like, oh, we gotta update it. It's looks like it's getting close to spring. Let's change all the decor out. What color is this tote? Blue or purple? Blue. Dark blue, you think? It looks kind of purple blue. in the right lighting. <laughs> uh, well, oh, there's another one at first. On, the, on camera, it looks kind of purple. Yeah, it does in the right lighting. So here's some more dolls. This one's got an American flag and there's a bunch of jars in there that are just empty. So like literally a horde of empty jars. And I think these wooden chairs are the chairs that these dolls sit in. So 4th of July decor in jars. I don't really know what the jars are for. This tote, oh my goodness, it's heavy. It says big one on it. Well, I believe it. Big what exactly? I don't know. Well, everything's wrapped. It might be a big old dish set. Let's see what this is. That's just a vase, but for sure they paid thirty dollars for that vase, which is crazy. All right, where'd that light just come from? I don't know. I couldn't say that price though. Good oh, sorry. <laughs> thirty dollars. Uh, let's see what this is. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of cool looking. Doesn't have any writing or any brand or anything on it. So your guess is as good as mine. What it is? Let's open up one more. I don't want to go through too much glass. Uh, let's see. And it's all different. Every like very rarely in this unit have we found like a set. There's lots of totes with glass, but it's so random. Like you have this dark one, this beer cup that's see-through, and then a vase. You know what I mean? It's just random stuff. It's not a set or anything. What's under this tote? Is that a tote? That's a cooler, isn't it? Yes. All right, that's kind of scary. Coolers are one of my fears. Coolers and fridges. Uh, um, well, look at that book. That looks Furby. super old. A Furby. It's like a Furby beanie baby, though. All right, let's see what this old, old book is right here. Uh, high school dictionary. Wow, it's definitely old. Property from 54 to 64 is when it was used. All right, let's see what's in here. This all pictures. This is pictures and some kids like, you know, work from elementary school, more personal. These are all yearbooks, baby pictures galore. Oh, I saw something in there. Is this a Bible? It is. Is this, did you just fall? Oh my God. God. This, oh, it's paper. I was like, no way. I finally saw something in a Bible. But it was just, pit. whoa. Uh, there's just, no, a lot of personal stuff in here. We're going to leave that behind. Are you all right back there? Stop the laugh about it. You almost fell down and went boom. Um, you want a, a gato statue? A gato. <laughs> Last thing I'm gonna open, let's see what's in here. Oh, but well, whatever it is, that's broken. But again, this one's mostly personal stuff. Not gonna lie to you, I'm nervous because I just pulled this cooler and it's very heavy. Coolers, by the way, would be one of the grossest things ever because all it takes is, you know, we almost did it again. <laughs> all it takes is one person leaving one sandwich in there or something. 
and this is going to be disgusting. So let's see if that's the case. Oh, no, are those Boy Scout pouches? Oh, it is. Look at that. Look at those old, old patches. That's cool, actually. It's a whole thing of them. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else is in here. I see another Dr. Seuss book. You see that? Yep. What is this one? Spot. Spot was the goat. That was like one of my favorite ones when I was little. Isn't that what his name was? I have no idea. I think that was what his name was. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, let's see. What's this? Nothing's in there. Just an empty box. I want to know what this frame is. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. It's got roses on one side and the clock on the other side. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. I'm not sure what it goes for, but it's cool. Let's see what else is over here. What does that say? We can't get fired. Slaves have to be sold. What? What is this? What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Oh, and I thought these were the silver candle holders. Um, what is this thing right here? What is that? I have no idea. That's a candle holder. I got that one. And then we got papers, papers, I guess a coffee mug, and then this. Whatever that is, I think it's another wine glass. What is this though? Is this more Boy Scouts? No, that's just a tote bag. Yeah, nothing in that one. Let's get this tote here so that we can see what this is. This says Grandma Kelly's Cups. So I wonder if these are really old or what. Because I'm pretty sure the lady who owned the unit was already older. So if that's her grandmother's stuff, it could be really old. Look at that. You can tell it looks like it's a bank. Yeah. But look at the back. Kind of weird. I don't know what to think it is. I guess we'll just set it there. It looks cool though, that's for sure. What's this? Oh, there's an interesting box in here. Look at that. First, let's see what this is. What's in this paper? Just a little sheet cup, but the brown box. That's really got my attention. What can you, you got an idea? What you Do think? Do you have an idea? Hey, I'm the one asking these questions. So you always ask me uh, these questions. I, want you I do to have an idea, oh. do you? Cheater. <laughs> I actually opened it, looked right at it, and still have no idea. Let's see, what is that? Okay, well I understand now. What the heck is this? Oh, this looks like a sharpening stone. Sharpen? Yeah, that's what that looks like. That would be my guess. It says something on the bottom. It just says WIB27. That doesn't really help. But it looks like a knife sharpener to be on the bottom, but the top really didn't, so not sure. What else is in here? These actually cups. Heavy, though. Oh, it's got a bunch of stuff. It's Pyrex. That looks like vintage old Pyrex, and it's got patterns on it, so this could be very valuable. If somebody knows, let us know down in the comments, because vintage Pyrex is what people like, and then the pattern ones, too. It's a whole set. Check that out. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them in this. I'm guessing there's a little saucer. Let's see if that's also Pyrex or not. Where is it open at? No, that's different. That's the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio Turnpike. But that could be very valuable. Again, if you know, let us know in the comments. This one says Chelsea's Berries in Bed on it. So I don't know which one that is. Oh, I didn't mean to open it. Well, man, how many, I said this earlier, they're looking for a blue blanket back. And this is all blankets all the way through. Literally nothing but blankets. So just in case, this is the one. I'm gonna leave it here as well. Now, we'll go to this one here. Let's see what in this one. Feels like it might be similar, unfortunately. Barney! Barney. I had a Barney set when I was little. Did you have a Barney set? Yes. Look, a little doll. Um, let's see what else is in there. What's this? Ooh, this is a silver set, isn't it? This looks sterling silver to me. It looks like it's tarnished. Let's see. Oh, there's something written on there. I can't read it, but if you know what silver looks like, that looks like tarnished, kind of. And is this cup I have in my hand, what goes in the middle? This kind of fell out. Let's see. Is that silver, too? Uh, possibly. Definitely possibility. So we'll definitely keep that in case that's all silver. If that's all silver, that's some good money right there. Set that right here. Some pictures. Some cards that are opened, of course picture albums all oh, this is again baby stuff i think they decided to keep and what did that say oh look silver plate <laughs> okay we'll keep that but all the rest of it 
this baby stuff. Yeah, we'll probably just leave this for them to get back. It's got more value to them than it would to us. I think we're down to one, two, three, about four totes left. This one says Easter. I can't imagine it being more Easter. I feel like we found a whole Easter store. Well, they just proved me wrong. Look at these giant Easter eggs though. These are kind of cool. A little Easter basket. What are these figures underneath? I'm curious. Oh, look at that. They're like little houses and stuff. So this tote, we're just gonna go ahead and mark up as what it says it is, all Easter. <laughs> Put it right here. And I guess I'll go to this one here. This one says boxes, tags, and tissue paper, but it definitely doesn't look like that. So let's see if that's actually what it is or not. Open up. See, I see this. Boom, this will fit me. Beautiful, right? Yeah. Uh, right there. There we go. I think it looks great. Uh, Coca-Cola bear. What's this? Is it actually glasses? No, it's a ring. Hey, what kind of ring? No marking inside, but it's made of hearts. You see that? Yeah. Pretty cool. We'll set that aside. 101 Dalmatians. <gasps> the black diamond version that everyone for some reason thinks are so valuable, but they're not. They won't sell at all. I had one on eBay for like six months for like five bucks and I got tired of it. This very random here's a hershey kiss dare you to eat it nope <laughs> <laughs> um let's see what this is that's nothing these are look at all those bullet shells in there there's quite a few of them in there uh pictures galore pictures more boxes more pictures yearbooks man i'm telling you the manager is not going to be happy with us but her words the owner wants back a blanket the baby stuff and the personal pictures you're getting all of it back so they'll be happy the manager now oh these vintage beanie babies look at the tag on them but or, it says collectible oh it says collectible that's never a good thing but just in case i am going to take this out they'll get the rest of this personal stuff back i'm still wearing this and i forgot i was so they'll get the rest of the personal stuff back while we're taking the beanie baby down to the final two this one says baby stuff on it as well but as you've seen a lot of totes in this unit are lies you can't trust what it says um well, let's see is that a foam finger foam finger it's a girl sign. Okay, this one might be telling the truth. Let's see, Barbie poster, a doll, Winnie the Pooh bag. Yeah, they're not lying. I see Curious George and SpongeBob though, so we must get to the bottom. We might have to take SpongeBob. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, look, we need SpongeBob, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're taking SpongeBob. Let's see what else is in there. A care, but no, it's not actually. <gasps> Remember these, this show? Wheezy and what's her name? I can't, I can't remember. remember. I know the guy's Wheezy. Dragon Tales, man. This is like so memorable. Where's the rest of them? Oh, what's her name? Cassie. 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 Yeah. That's Where's not that? Cassie and Wheezy? That might be. I forgot her name. I know I the big remember. blue one's Org. That's the one I remember. If I can find him. Oh, that's from the big blue house. The bear to the blue house, right? Okay, some of this stuff we're keeping. This is vintage. What about this guy? Oh, it's from Nemo. Dory. Yeah. There's Org. There's the bear. There's I'm the keeping bear. Them. We're keeping the bear. And there's that one. That's Org. I watch that show every morning. That and Clifford and like first. I remember just thinking like grandmother would come over in the morning, right before school, like seven o'clock would be Dragon Tales. Oh, oh, we're good. What's up? <laughs> I thought you were the other couple days. When he just came in here to ask us a question, that was awkward. <laughs> Sorry for the awkward moment. Um, look, we got <laughs> baby dolls. Yeah, the rest of it we'll leave behind, but I have to take these vintage ones because it brings back too many like, good memories from like first grade, second grade with me. Last tote in the very back corner of the unit. Let's see what's inside this one. Okay, it's actually Halloween. They weren't lying. So, ooh, look at these. These are actually big though. Look at the size of this guy. I know. Is this his pumpkin head? I think that's his head. Yep. Do I look better or worse? <laughs> worse. Oh, okay. A uh, ghost and a mummy and a skeleton guy. So a lot of Halloween stuff, but your mom will probably take you, right? Yeah. Probably. Now that we're completely done with that unit, here's a sneak peek of the next one. We bought a 10 by 10 and we've gone through and it was pretty awesome. Look at how much stuff was in here. These videos will start next. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out. <laughs>
leave a comment saying this was awesome if you made it all the way to the end of the video.